Now for a look at what the Target 12 investigators are working on this Wednesday. Rhode Island is soon to have a new top federal prosecutor. Three months after President Joe Biden nominated Zachary Cunha to be the next U.S. attorney for the District of Rhode Island, the full U.S. Senate voted this week to approve that nomination. Target 12 investigator Tim White joining us live in studio. Tim, Cunha not a household name in Rhode Island. What do we know about him right now? Well, that's true. I, I suppose it's a lot like a guy named uh, Peter Narona wasn't well known when he was first nominated. Okay. So we're going to get to know Cunha in the coming years. But Brian, we do know his resume. Zachary Cunha has been a federal prosecutor since 2005. He came to the District of Rhode Island in 2014. Until now, he has been serving as chief of the civil division since 2018. Prior to that, Cunha was an assistant U.S. attorney in the Eastern District of New York and then up in Boston. Cunha graduated from Brown University here in Providence in 1998 and received his Juris Doctorate from George Washington University School of Law in 2001. And Tim, Senators Jack Reed and Sheldon Whitehouse recommended him back in May. Right. We've had yep. a temporary U.S. attorney since then. What's taken so long? Well, Kim, uh, Democrats would say politics. Republicans put a hold on a handful of U.S. attorney nominations, and Democrats say it was only because those nominations hailed from states that only have Democratic senators. The deadlock ended yesterday when the Republicans removed their objection. Now, as for timing moving, fo moving forward, a spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office says Cunha could be sworn in as soon as early next week. In another matter, it was a bumpier road for Massachusetts U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins. Vice President Kamala Harris had to break a deadlock in the Senate just to get to a floor vote. The full Senate approved her nomination just a couple of hours ago. And Tim, this is a key position in Rhode Island, the federal prosecutor. So what types of cases would you expect him to go after? Well, a lot of the agenda is set up in Washington. The three, uh, 93 U.S. attorneys in the country answer to the U.S. Department of Justice under the Obama administration, for instance. The DOJ focused a lot on civil rights violations. But you're right, Brian, that each district is unique, and each U.S. attorney can put their stamp on things. Peter Narona, who is now the state's attorney general, had some major public corruption cases during his tenure, including taking down former House Speaker Gordon Fox. Time will tell with Cunha, but I think moving forward, Forward. We'll continue to see the office focusing on sex trafficking, gun crimes, and opioid-related prosecutions. Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks for getting us up to speed. Thanks for having me.